desampares, ni de noche ni de día. Angelito mío, where did you go? Angelito mío, who do you hold? Dentro de tus brazos. Angelito mío, ruega. Ruega a Dios. Ruega por mi Eva. Ruega por mí. Esperanza? Yes, it's Camila. Can you hear me? I thought you weren't going to be able to call me this week. No, it's not about time. I, I was just praying. No, está bien, I just finished. I've been really trapped in my own mind lately. Praying, breathing, finding a moment to connect to something other than me. I've needed it, even if just for a minute. Sabes? I don't think I've stopped praying for the last couple of months. There was a moment when my prayer seemed lost, but this current need and fear has brought them back. You've been in my prayers, Esperanza. You and all your familia. I was. I, I couldn't believe. I'm so sorry to hear about Samuel. See, sí, he was so hardworking. I know. He was working in meatpacking, right? I heard that so many were affected by COVID in those types of jobs. Your poor cousin. Like you said, he had to work. What else could he do? He had to put his family first. No puedo creer that you weren't able to see him while he was sick. Es bueno that you were able to stay with his esposa and his children while he was in the hospital. The kids didn't even get to say goodbye? I know. One minute, their dad is working hard to provide for them, and the next day, he's gone. Not getting to say goodbye and hold him one final time? Not getting to hear him say, I love you? I'm so sorry, Esperancita. Your tios are being checked on. They haven't left their home since they heard the news. But todas las familias, we've been taking turns, taking them food and spending time with them. I will do everything I can to be there for your family, just like you've always been there for me, Esperanza. So many people are getting sick. Tanta gente left with their lives torn apart. It made me so worried, worried for my Evita. I know you've been with your family and, and dealing with so much yourself, Esperanza, but I have to ask. Have you found out anything? Any news on my daughter? Esperanza, are you there? Oh, nothing. I know, no, no, I know. You're doing everything you can, Esperanza. Ya sé. And I owe you my life for all your help. I was hopeless. I was lost. But you were there and were the first person I knew I could turn to. I just, I never thought it would be so hard to find out if she's in one of those attention centers. Or I, I never thought we just wouldn't know what would happen. I mean, how? How did they disappear? 
almost as if they had never existed, as if I had never held my daughter in my arms. Ah, oh, no, I can't keep thinking about it, Esperanza. Me vuelve loca. Sabes que? I may already be going a little crazy, if I'm being honest. I had such a dream the other night. I was wandering el bosque among the never-ending trees, and I heard something, something or someone calling for me. Era un llanto, soft but piercing cry. I wondered who cries out into our eternal night. Solo conozco a una. Has she finally come for me? Is her llanto a warning or a revelation of truth? Has she come knocking on my door with an extra black veil in her hands, ready to crown me her sister? Has my child joined yours? Running together in the afterlife? Shall we wail together now? Mira, yo también puedo llorar como tú. Tú lloras por los tuyos. Y yo lloro por la mía. Together, we can search for their lost souls. We can search for my Evita. Deja lloro contigo. And that's how I woke up, calling out for La Llorona. Escúchame, Esperanza. Van a decir que soy la loca del pueblo. Dear Camila, lost her mind. Last I heard of her, she was screaming into the, the night sky and ran away with a herd of deer. Even if the Llorona was here to claim my soul, I probably scared her away. I thought I did the right thing. I wanted Eva to be okay, you know? The day I sat her down and, and told her she was going on a long adventure with her tío and tía. Ella estaba tan emocionada. Will you go too, mommy? Hope radiated from her eyes as she held my hands. I'll be joining you soon, mija, left my lips. But la voz inside screamed and screamed, don't let her go, don't send her away, hold her tight, hold her forever. brother arrived at my door casi a la una de la madrugada I was terrified nobody knocks on your door at one in the morning without a cloud of darkness following their footsteps ready to sip into a new home but it was my brother his wife and mi sobrino right at the door backpacks on a car left running. Camila, we're leaving. He kept speaking. Pero la única palabra que se repetía por mi cabeza. Leaving. Leaving. 
leaving. Then I heard him utter, Evita. Her name brought me back to attention. ¿Qué estaba diciendo? ¿Qué dijiste? Deja que nos llevemos a Evita. Camila, she needs to go with us. Camila, escucha. Camila, please listen. Camila, Camila, ca ca cállate. Por favor, cállate. I need to think. My brother held my hands. Wake her up, Camila. It's time. We walked to her room. And there she was. I knelt by her bed, running my hand over her cheek and through her hair. I held her tiny hand, still only half the size of mine. Mi Evita, el ángel de mi vida. I take in her long eyelashes that seem to go in 20 directions. Through her little purse lips, I see her missing tooth. I count the number of lunares on her face. Uno. Dos. Tres. And then I see it. I see the face of our little vecina who was taken a month ago, only eight years old. I see my primo's son, 12, and he's been missing for a year. I see todos los niños que lloraron por sus papás. And I know what I must do. And I could do this, not because I was afraid of what would happen if I didn't, but because I had faith that she would be all right. I can still see her eyes lighting up as I say, Despiértate, mija. You're going on an adventure. When does faith run out, Esperanza? been searching and searching, waiting and waiting, first for a month, and then six. And now, it's been over a year, Esperanza. I keep hoping that one of these days, you'll call me and tell me that she's been found at one of the detention centers. And now, even that has become a nightmare on its own. Muerte surrounds those places. All we see in the news are body bags or the ever-increasing number of those missing. And those numbers continue to rise and rise as this enfermedad takes over. by a country that promises freedom, but in reality lets our children die. It's so hard to have hope. Esperanza, can you pray with me? Faces locked behind bars with a voice on her. Names lost to the wind. Rega for all the closed eyes on their sterile sheets. Hands clasped together, asking for their families to find. 
finally be at peace. Pray God for the unknown, that ages the heart and leaves rosaries worn. Pray God for me. Pray God for thee.